of me doing stupid things, yeah. and then loads of bad explanations <laughs> in the middle. Okay, let's go. Guten Tag, this is Rich from Hughes and Cat no. Guten Tag, this is Rich from Hughes and Cat no. and this is the Grandmaster Deluxe 40, and this is the Grandmaster 36, and I'm going to spend the next two minutes telling you very, very dryly and unhumorously the main differences between the two amps, because a lot of you have been asking since the Grandmaster Deluxe 40 has come out. So, it starts with the sounds and the preamp. The preamp for the Deluxe 40 has been totally redesigned. We call it Deluxe Tone Technology, and it has a load of new circuitry in it, and it's basically inspired by the Triumph Mark III, our flagship, which looks like this. And it basically means that the Deluxe 40 sounds significantly different, I would say, to the 36, which we will show in some future videos. But just kind of as a basic explanation to it, the four channels now flow very so sort of continuously and logically from one another, so the crunch channel picks up where the clean channel leaves off, and so on. This wasn't the case so much with the 36. And the Gelux 40 clean and crunch channels stay a lot cleaner a lot longer, so you've got a lot more sort of clean headroom than you did with the 36 amp. You can really keep the, uh, the sparkling 50s pristine sort of cleans going with the 36 a lot longer than you could with the 36 before it started to overdrive. I'm not sure if I said the name of the amp wrong then, but this is the Deluxe 40 and this is the 36. Okay, new, old. Okay, we continue. Let's move around to the back of the amp now and look at some of the features. The Redbox AE is probably the biggest change between the two. It's the newest version of our Redbox technology, which eliminates the need for using microphones for doing stuff. Whether you're recording in a studio, or at home, or if you're playing live on stage and don't want to mic a cab anymore, the Redbox AE lets you do that. It basically connects via an XLR cable to your recording software, or to your mixing desk, or whatever, and the newer version has many tone tweaking options, which you should be seeing a close-up of just about now, and it also lets you switch it off, which is awesome for recording. We'll go into a lot a whole lot more detail about that later on, but it basically means you can fiddle around with plugins, mic sims, reamping, and all that sort of stuff a lot better. Now, the other little differences to tell you about now would be that the Deluxe 40 has a new app. The Grandmaster 36 had an app as well, which was free to download from the App Store. You can still get it. You can, in fact, import Grandmaster 36 presets from your app to the 40 amp, but you will need to tweak them for EQ and gain, etc., because of the new preamp design. The Deluxe 40 thanks to your <laughs> feedback, also features a global presence and resonance control and a global power soak setting, which is really, really useful. Because, for example, with the 36, if you were gigging and had kind of a list of presets, a list of sounds that you wanted to use for your show, if you wanted to also practice at one watt or whatever, you would need to create a double list of presets. With the Deluxe 40, you don't need to do that anymore. You can simply engage the global power soak mode and have all your presets on 40 watts, 20 watts, 5 watts, 1 watts, or even 0, if that's what you want. That was it then. Those are the main differences between the Grandmaster Deluxe 40 and the Grandmaster 36 for now. There is a whole lot more to come, and I really, really recommend that you go and watch the videos we did with Rabia Massad playing, because he plays it a whole lot better than I can explain it. But that's it for now. Go to HughesandKettner.com, and if you want to find out a lot more about the technology behind the amps, the red box that I've mentioned here, and the other features like tube safety control, power soak, etc, etc. Hit us up on the blog of Tone, and we will see you later. Bye for now. Thank you. What is the difference between the Grandmaster 40 and the Grandmaster 36? It starts with the preamp design of the Grandmaster Deluxe 40. I should stop hitting the amp, shouldn't I? All sound significantly different to that of the 36. Of the 36. Of the 36. The red box AE on the back of the amp is integrated for your pleasure. <laughs> you, sir, at the back with the unhappy face. Um. It's nice and warm, by the way. You can fry an egg on this, too. We call it Deluxe Tone Technology. And we've developed it over a series of years with Bernd Schneider, our main designer and engineer. It's inspired by the Triumph Mark III, and it sounds... Amazing. <laughs> Hell, you can even reamp if you like. The options are all there with the red box. Hey! That was a terrible explanation. I will start again. Moving over to the back panel. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
We're not using that. Right, you stupid bastards. It's funny. Uh, is it just for once? No, 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 no. And the answer is yes. Goodbye.